Cloning yourself in Malvavi is super easy and fun. So without further ado, good one. Let's get into this. I'm really excited. That makes two of us. Let's go. To create this clone effect, I needed to film myself twice, once on one side of the screen and again on the other side. And since I knew I would be using a split screen overlay, I tried my best not to cross over the middle of the screen so that part of me wouldn't disappear like this. Yikes. For best results, there's a few things to keep in mind when setting up. Before recording, I set my camera to manual. This will ensure that my camera doesn't auto adjust while recording. It's also very important to put the camera on something still so that there is zero camera movement because even the slightest bump can affect the final project. And last, I try to mitigate lighting changes and shadows during the recording. As you can see here, even the most subtle difference becomes easily noticeable. And on that note, if using any natural lighting, I'll try to get all my footage at the same time. Knowing that natural lighting is always changing, this provides the best chance of keeping things equal between scenes. After you got your footage, bring it into Movavi and drop it in the timeline. I've already got my footage cut up and ready to go. So next, I'll take the footage of me on the right side and drag it over the top of the others like this. When doing this, Movavi automatically adds a new overlay track and brings you right to the overlay options menu. That's pretty nice. So since I placed the right side footage of me up into the overlay track, I will want to choose the side-by-side -side right overlay. Now I need to choose what portion of this overlay clip I want to keep. So to match these up perfectly, I only want to expose the right side of this clip. And I will do this by sliding this all the way to the left like this. Once I set my overlay and finish adjusting my clips, I will apply a couple finishing touches. For this part, I like to quickly export my project so that I can bring it back into the editor as one solid clip. Now when I add effects, the effects will be applied to all of my footage equally. For this clone effect, I applied a camera shake filter on a pretty low setting, as I think this adds a bit more believability. Then I made color adjustments and added a slow zoom out towards the beginning of the clip. Fun fact, that zoom out actually covered up a moment that my arm moved across the middle of the shot, and that was my creative way of hiding it. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. 